Hello all, my name is Kennedy Haythorn and welcome to my lecture today. Join me for a brief lesson as I explore coral reefs and the science behind them. Let's dive right in. Firstly, we will analyze the question, what are coral reefs? Coral reefs are underwater skeletal structures that can be found in marine water across the entire world. Corals that create colonies are composed of hermatypic corals or polyps. These coral coat their body with extracted calcium carbonate from the seawater around them, and it creates their skeletal structure. Coral reefs reach such large sizes over the years of corals growing on top of one another. As old corals pass away, their exoskeletons are left for new hermetic corals to cling onto and grow colonies. Reefs begin to grow in size as years go on because of this. There are actually many different types of coral reefs. The main ones being fringing reefs, atoll reefs, and barrier reefs. Fringing reefs grow directly from shores surrounding bodies of land and are the ones people most commonly know. Atoll reefs are formed off of fringing reefs, but they grow up from sunken volcanic islands. They are known for their circular shapes they create. Lastly, barrier reefs grow near shores, but there is a space of water between them and the land. Now I will observe how coral reefs get their color. An algae known as zoothenellae gives coral reefs their beautiful, lively colors they are known for. This algae provides otherwise colorless corals with vibrant, beautiful colors because of their pigment. The algae also lives within coral polyps and goes through photosynthesis to supply energy to themselves along with coral reefs, keeping them alive and healthy. A huge factor in the scientific world today is the health of coral reefs. The main aspects that make coral reefs healthy are water clarity, temperature, and wildlife presence. When water is clean and about 80 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit, corals are extremely healthy. Wildlife near them keeps algae growth in check meaning there will be an abundance of marine life and that the coral reefs will thrive. If one, some, or all of those factors disimprove, then coral reef health can rapidly decline. Record high levels of sea surface temperatures were reached just this year, and it has been recorded that climate warming has been on the rise. Coral reef bleaching occurs when these ocean temperatures begin to rise over time, making the ocean water too warm. When this happens, coral expels algae, turning the reefs white. If some reefs reach too much bleaching, they can die, cutting off a large area that otherwise would have benefited marine ecosystems. Thank you all for attending my lesson today. I hope this enriched your mind. Goodbye.